Hello, dinosaur omelet friends. Christopher and Angela, look at this. This is a beautiful river, and back there are a, a flock of what's called honk birds. Canadian geese. Yes, honk birds. <laughs> I guess you can't see them, but maybe you can hear them honking. Anyway, we're going to take a walk down our beautiful river and show us some of the lovely, uh, pretty, pretty outdoorsy whatnots. And here we are amongst our beautiful river, and this is our trail. That's Angela over there again. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It looks like one of those nature programs where the old guy is talking over top of the beautiful ocean waters coming from the rivers, seeking the harbor. And that's that river right there. So we live this creek. I call it a river, she calls it a creek. Well, it is a creek. Oh, it is a creek. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> so this little creek slash river is right behind our house. We walk right down here. It's about, what, 200 yards or so? It's a couple hundred yards. So we play in there in the summer and we go mountain biking down this trail when there's not a ton of snow. And it's very nice down here, Southern Lancaster County, miss. Ooh, guess who's over there? I guess you can't see on the uh, video, but it's our goose friends. Huh? I'm blocking my view of prettiness. So I went to walk next to you. Huh? Move. Ooh, goose foot. That's very good find, Doc. <laughs> very nice, hon. What do you think about your river? How do you feel about living near the river, Angela? How do I feel? Yeah. I like it very much. It's very pretty. Yes, and it is. I can connect with nature and see God's creation. It's very peaceful. And look at the pretty water. Man, it's crystal yeah, clear fast. today and it's moving pretty fast. So normally this water is not moving that fast. It's a lot lower. It's a little bit lower, yeah. But man, during the summer it's a lot of fun because we go kayaking and inner tubing, and fishing, and swimming. And I hear tale there is ancient Indian arrowheads all over the place. I've never found one. Have you found any? No. No, so. Look at the ice blobs on the bottom of those branches touching the water. Ooh, ice blobs. <laughs> More water at another water hole. And this here is our drip wall. It's the, it's the drip wall. So every winter we get these really pretty um, icicles or what I like to call water stalagmites <laughs> coming down off of our drip wall. Isn't that pretty? You could call them ice swords. Ice swords, yes, you could call them that. <laughs> anyway, one of the many, many beautiful things about nature, which again, like I'd like to encourage you guys, is free. All you need to do is have a pair of feet on your body or some <laughs> way to mobilate. You really don't even need feet. Get outside and go enjoy the pretty nature. And I'm willing to bet a good dollar bill, the kids will like it even better than Grand Theft Murder. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you one of my secret special favorite things to do on an ice cold wintry day is to have a gigantic mug filled to the brim with Sleepy Bear tea. Do you know I love Sleepy Bear tea? Sleepy Bear tea is my drink. After a stressful and hard day of doing whatever it is I might do, I just can't take it anymore. I have a tall glass of Sleepy Bear. <laughs> what a lovely spot, okay? Lovely spot. Again, just get outside. And you guys, you know, look around online, all trails, and there's a whole bunch of map applications and programs. You can find all kinds of cool local little trails you didn't even know were nearby. You'd be surprised. There's trails everywhere and there's places to go. And most people live within 10, 15 minutes of a little outdoors location. It's very therapeutic. You feel very relaxed. You get back in nature. I mean, the loudest thing out here is me. This is true. This is true. Even if there's like a tree falling in the woods, I'm still 
kind of outperforming it on the loudness scale. Now, the rumble you hear, if you can hear it, you probably can, is our local rapids, right? And there is our beautiful river and the deadly rapids. I don't know if you guys can tell from where we're standing, but that is a ton of water passing through there. People come down here in the spring and summer and train on their kayaks because it's a pretty, pretty aggressive rapid. Yeah, the little sport kayaks. And also, I don't know if you dudes can tell, but we live in a very hilly area. That hill over there, what is that? 100 something feet. Anyway, there's a lot of cliffs and a lot of um, challenging hills to climb around here. Actually, when we go kayaking down here or inner tubing, you do not go over the rapids. People drown up here. Pretty dangerous. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out here. Another piece? Great. Come on. This here is one of the fabulous covered bridges of Pennsylvania. And this is a Lancaster County covered bridge. Still standing. Built in 18... I don't really know exactly when I forget. But it's old. And it's pretty. It's the end of our little hike. And I think Angela's hiding in there. Here she is. Hi, people.